Okay guys, so in the last tutorial we added a mini-map to our actual character, but one thing we're currently lacking is the... I just died instantly. <laughs> one thing we're currently lacking is the ability to actually move around our world. So uh, we've got spawners that are spawning enemies here and there, but we can't actually move around our world. Now we don't really have much of a world anyway, but I would like to be able to move around and actually be able to go to different places because in the next one we're going to be adding in a place we're going to build a level we're going to add in shops and there's a bunch of other things i want to add to this uh mini game as well so as you can see here i want to be able to move around so let's add in that functionality so we're going to be creating a smooth camera sort of follow system okay so the first thing we want to do is go to our main camera here and actually select add a component and then we're going to create the smooth camera follow script here create an ad now smooth follow is something that's been done so many different times by so many different people but i want to add it in this series so you guys could follow along um and we could actually get it done i've done this multiple times as well but this one is probably the smoothest camera script i've done or seen before uh, so i'm going to start off with a serialized field it's going to be a private or sorry a private Vector free called offset. Now this will be the offset we want for our camera. Now this actually isn't going to be set to zero by default, but I'm adding this feature in in case you do want an offset for uh, your actual 2D character. Then the next one is going to be a float called dampening. Now this means um, how how fast it's going to try and catch up with our player. And finally, we want a public transform called target. Now, the reason we're having the public transform call target and not a private is because this is something we may want to change to different targets in the future. I'm gonna, it'll be a hard-coded thing for now, or not. It'll be done in the inspector for now, but in the future, we can update this. Now, we want to use fixed update because our game is run on physics and velocities. Fixed update is probably the perfect place for us to actually put our code. So we want to just say, we're going to create a new vector. This could be a two, but we're going to use vector three. And we're going to call this the target position. Um, we're going to set this equal to target.position. And then we're going to just add our offset to this as well. We then want to go to our transform.position. Uh, we want to set this equal to vector three dot smooth. Damp. Now smooth dampening is super awesome and super useful to you. So let me just show you what we need to do is so we need to add in a transform dot position. So effect the free for the position, the actual target position we want to move to. So target position, then we need a reference to the velocity, um, which we're going to set to rec, uh, ref, sorry, vector free dot zero. And then we will pass through our dampening feature there. And this actually needs to be referenced. So let's create a private vector free, call it velocity and sell it equal to that. And then we can actually pass our, our fell here. There we go. Ooh. So that should fix the error we're having there. There you go. And then now we've got that, we can actually go back to our Unity um, wait for this to load and just pass through our player to as our transform. The dampening can be something like 0 0.5. And as I said, we don't need an offset. We're using the top down. We want our player to be in the center at all times. Um, but if you were making a side scroller or anything like that, you may want to do some other things. Now I'm going to add in a 2D sprite square and I'm just I'm actually only adding in his square. Uh, let's reset transform. Uh, just so we can actually see our player's movement because uh, currently we don't actually have a level as I said We're going to design a level in a future video um, But we don't have anything to reference our current movement um, So let's just create a few different squares um, Over here and let's just put them all there. There we go. Now let's hit save and let's hit play and see if we can move around our scene and there you go, you can see we were moving, but there's an, actually a slight issue here. Our camera said is also moving, which we do not want. So let's go back to our code and then get our target position dot C to be equal to our transform dot position. Because we're using vector three, oh sorry, transform dot position dot C. We want it always to be whatever our said 
position is. Um, and I forgot to obviously set the said position to be whatever our camera's position is. So this should fix that issue. It should basically leave it at minus 10 instead of trying to bring it forward. Okay, so let's actually test this out finally. And as you can see, the movement is super smooth. It's nice. It feels really good. And you can mess around with the dampening to make it fit your game better. Um, I wanted to just say that I, the reason we're doing this tutorial as a simple camera follow, a lot of people have already done this tutorial, um, but I wanted to add it to this series just so you guys know how to do it yourselves if you haven't seen any of these before. And also, so you have it ready for the future videos where we're going to be actually building a like world we can fight these enemies in and actually have a shop. This has been requested multiple times. People want NPCs you can buy stuff from. So we're going to do that in a future video. I don't know when it's going to be, but it will be coming. So just bear with me while we work on this series. So for now, guys, thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and also definitely don't forget to comment because all of those help me produce more videos and make me more motivated to do more. But anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Peace out.